By the way, Chris is going to make a fabulous lobster terrine, and the best thing is, he's going to give us another recipe. So let's get into this. Okay, so I'll start with blueberry bell blanc, and I'm using a Chardonnay. It's going to go right into the pot and chill out, and you can really smell yeah. that, smell what's coming out of that wine. So I added a little bit of vinegar in there. In this case, I used rice wine vinegar. Where'd you put the vinegar? In, in the, the wine. wine. Yeah, it's a mm, little. I did that. Tricky. Yeah, it's it's a little secret. See, there's always one little secret they don't tell you about. He adds local blueberries. Beautiful color. Then strains them. Get all the liquid out of there. Pours in heavy cream. 35% milk fat. And oh, I think we have another tip. A little trick that you can do is take a little bit of butter and rub it along the edge of the pot. Oh, and what that does, that. once the cream comes up to that level buttered surface, it it's going to fold back in. Once boiling starts, take it off the stove. And what's a French sauce without lots of butter? And I'll add it one piece at a time. Now let's get into this lobster terrine. Now what holds my terrine together, and this is what we call scallop mousse. A little bit of cream and salt and pepper, and that's all there is to it. You can put this on toast. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could, yeah, on crackers. I'll just go like that. With uh, my <laughs> <laughs> and the idea is that you want to layer this with scallop mousse, nice slices of beautiful Yukon gold potato, and some of uh, this beautiful Atlantic lobster. This is like decadent. Though. Yeah, and wow. it, you know, it's, it all goes so well together. So I've been taking notes. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Cover with foil to protect the saran wrap. Bake in a pan of water for 30 minutes. And it goes. And it goes. And with the magic of television, we have a finished product. Okay. And it is to die for. Mm -hmm. So I've got this lovely blueberry beau blanc. And into the sauce. Ever so gently. And so I have some, some nice garnishes here. So I'll add a few of those. So this is an example of traditional lobster taken untraditionally, okay, onto this plate. I want just to create something for you special. Oh my God, well, I'm feeling special, that's for sure. This dish is made with so much passion and love from Maison Tea.